Hi guys, just before we get on with today's video, just want to do a big shout out to all the YouTube channel members. Thank you for all the support guys, really is appreciated. Uh, let's get on with today's video. Hi everybody, Space Junkie here, hope you're all keeping well. Uh, I've got a bit of a cold, so I apologise straight away if I sound a bit bunged up. Uh, any sniffing, coughing and sneezing that may go on during this video. Uh, but what we're going to be looking at today guys is rock mining. Got a few people in the, the community where they've been struggling recently. Um, so I thought we'd just do an updated video and cover some rock mining off. So I'm at Herlel 2. Uh, I have a favourite planet that I do like to rock mine on, which is Aberdeen. Now, Aberdeen is a very, very hot planetary surface. You need to kit yourself out accordingly. So let's just come out of there. So you get yourself to a refinery station. You can hire and buy all you need to be able to obviously get down there. Now, the suit you want is this one. The Pembroke suit. You just need this, the suit and the helmet. Uh, and then you also need obviously a rock and a ship that's going to be big enough to put the rock in. Now if you come to the rental kiosk, you want the grey cat rock which is going to cost you 4300 if you like. And then if we go to the rake, you can also hire Cutlass Black. Now obviously the two combined, if you just round it up to 40000 alpha UEC, or one day's rental if we're lucky and you do see the rock mining correctly you should in an hour be able to get net around about 200 alpha UEC uh, sorry 200,000 alpha UEC um, so you can cover your costs quite quickly so hopefully guys you've got a ship that's big enough to put the rock in but if you haven't just hire the cutlass black and you can obviously back it up into there so what we're going to do is I've obviously got myself kitted out Got my Pembroke suit, need a few drinks, it's going to be very, very hot. Got a tractor beam. Other than that, I've got a gun on my back, but you don't really need one, hopefully. It's very unusual that you get pirated when you rock mining. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get myself to Aberdeen, where I'm obviously then going to take you to the planet services where you can actually call the rock. And I'll bring you guys straight back in. So I'll see you in a bit. Hi everybody, so we just got to Aberdeen. Now, what you want to do is, you want to get yourselves to one of the HDMSs. Now, we're going to head to Norgard, because it looks like it's a bit more in the uh, sunlight just around there. So we're going to jump round, and I'll bring you back in when we're obviously going to be grabbing our rock. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so we've arrived at Norgard. Now, what you need to do is land near these two small little pads. Don't land right next to them, because you will get a warning. Uh, and they could impound your ship. So just park close enough. That makes it nice and easy. This is where the rock will spawn. Two very key buildings. Now the first one is this one here, which is your landing services, where you're going to call the rock, just like a normal terminal. And what you've got is, it has this. It is like a blue flashing totem on it. The other one is this one just here, where it's a red totem you can just see there and this one should be storage I think it's called Go around here yep and this is storage and this is where you're going to come and you're going to actually sell your items but when you come back you want to land your ship as close as you can get it so maybe around here or just up the side of this building very important that you get your ship quite close to that building we we'll cover that off obviously once we're out on our way back so let's go and call our rock sun is setting so we may jump to a different location just so we'll see we're in the daylight makes it a hell of a lot easier so we're going to go into this building it's exactly the same as if you're going to be calling your ship welcome to the asoc vehicle retrieval system what you've got is the gray cat rock you're going to retrieve has been delivered to the following please visit there it is again. things up on that pad just there nice and easy now you could obviously leave the back of the ship open when you come to call the rock, but personally, I always like to leave it shut just in case you get some undesirable. Really not worth it. Just close the ship back up. So getting into the actual rock, you approach it from the front. Hold down F once again, get a little bit closer, and we're going to enter the driver's seat. Thumbs down like so, in we get. And to start it, you're going to push, it should close down. 
Alt and R. Start it. Okay, so Alt and R. We're going to take it to the our ship. And then we're going to turn around and we're going to back the rock in. Now they have changed the actual noise of the rock. It never used to be this noisy or this whiny. It's uh, a little bit disappointing. Not the nicest of noises. So let's open that up. Now when it comes to putting the rock in, it's quite narrow here and here. I'll tell you what, let's put it in forwards. I like normally like to back it in. You can put it in front ways, nice and easy. Let's just get back in. Now, when it comes to manoeuvring the rock, it is excessively slow at turning. So, again, take your time with it. They're very bouncy, bounce off rocks and all sorts. Sometimes F4 can be your friend. Just obviously get you nicely lined up. Just going to get her in. Make sure you leave enough room at the back so you can get past to close the door. We're going to turn the rock off, otherwise that noise will drive us absolutely insane while we're trying to fly our ship. A wide exit. Close our ship. Alrighty. We're going to make our way back to our pilot seat. Now, when it comes to trying to find the actual gems and the rocks and that sort of stuff you want to be able to mine, there is a bit of a knack to it. What you don't want to be doing is flying too fast. This is what a lot of people do. So what I'm going to try, if we can get ourselves to a lighter side of the planet's surface. So maybe if we fly around to Dobbs, Okay, guys, what I've done is I've actually jumped round to Dobbs, so we're on the lighter side of the planet. Now, when it comes to setting your ship up to try and find the gems, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to push V, turn on your scanner. Now, what you want to do is you want to try and set your speed to around here. Because obviously what you don't want to be going, doing is going too fast because you're not going to actually pick up the rocks. And what we're going to do is we're going to be sending out pings. So if we hold V... Now that's too far away. Anything that pops up that's 8,000 meters is, you know, a more, or it's it's too far away. What we're looking for is stuff that's going to pop in around sort of 4,000 meters. So if we start heading, and what you want to do is you want to make sure you have a heading. So we're going to try and stick around 35 as a heading. And we're going to keep pinging until hopefully something pops in. Hold V, ping again. Just keep pinging. Oh, keep pinging away. No, further away. Just going to ping away, as I say, until something pops in. It's going to be hopefully a little bit nearer to us. That was strange. Something didn't ping in here. But it makes me wonder if this is our intended quarry, which is a bit strange. Yeah, look. <laughs> Unbelievable. So normally you would get obviously that marker. Uh, but this is what we're looking for. So we've got a nice little cluster. Now what you can do is you can zoom in by using your middle mouse wheel and then hold left mouse button it should be able to scan the rocks and it tells us what it is so we found a nice little cluster of hadonite there and what you want to do is not park so not park the ship too close hadonite is extremely volatile and explosive and you can take your ship out and your rock so make sure you park a little distance away not too far because obviously you want to be able to find the rocks again turn our ship off Right, 
let's get to some mining. Yeah, it's a bit strange that, guys, but I had a feeling that was probably going to be our intended quarry because the um, pinged in obviously very, very close to us and not like a rock. So I had a night. As you can see here, it's just there. It's always got like a little purpley sort of shade to the rocks as well. Uh, Dolavine, I think it is, is yellow. Uh, and there's one other, I think, which is called Aphorite, I think, from memory. Excuse me, guys, sniffing away. Right, let's get ourselves to our rocks. Bit, of a, a bit weird this okay. I think what the problem is we've got a bit of a delay very weird got a bit of a delay in our keybinds looks a bit we're actually pushing it okay so here we are here's our rocks as you can see nice little cluster so to bring our arm out, we're going to push M for Mike, as you can see. Should come out. Don't tell me we've got a bug. Yeah, looks like our, sh our arm's bugged. No good to man or beast. I fight. It and restarting it, we can fix it. Systems activating. Systems on. No. There we go. There we go, we're back. Right, guys, so what happened there was the arm went directly up in the air. I turned the rock off. So, again, bug citizen, as we know. Uh, I turned the rock off, turned it back on, pushed M to re engage the arm. So, that was uh, something I did there just to get rid of that bit lucky so what we're going to do is we're going to get just what you've got again sorry guys lost track of uh, thought there and you've got an optimal range of where you want to be when you're obviously doing that so if you hover that there you've got a marker which you can see just coming up so I look at the rock and we're a bit close so we're just going to back up to the optimal range if you're too close and you overcharge rocks obviously you're going to blow up left left mouse button to fire our laser like so and as you can see on the right hand side where it says charge level what we're going to do is we're going to increase our charge so you hold left all and use your middle mouse wheel and as you can see you can actually see the laser intensity going up and the charge level now it's a bit of a juggling act you need to obviously go up and down with your mouse wheel and what we're trying to do is we're trying to get that bar that's increasing into that green bar and we don't want it to go into the red because that's overcharging and that's when the rocker blow up that's when we're in uh, we're in a lot of danger so take your time let it get into there we go already starting to fracture the rock now make sure you're not going too fast because that's when obviously when you get into lots of trouble as long as we're in there we're going to charge at the same rate doesn't go any quicker if you're increasing the charge so just let it build slowly. Now once it's charged, what happens is that that will turn off. Rock should blow up. Yeah, we've got a bit of a delay on the server, guys. So that rock will eventually pop. So what we do is we go to the next one. Here it goes. Pretty much at the optimal range again. So left mouse button. Hold Alt, use the mouse wheel once again to increase laser intensity, not too fast. Once again we're in the optimal, that's all we want. You need to back it down. If you do overcharge a rock, just turn the laser off straight away, don't let it keep cooking. Also, as I say, if it blows up, chances are it will take your rock out and it can potentially damage your ship if you part too close. It, the blast radius of these things is incredible. We'll break another rock. Here we go. 
nice and easy. So we're going to move forward a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn our extraction laser on, which is right mouse button. And then we're going to push left mouse button to pick up our gems that we've mined. What you don't want to do when you're picking up gems is, I've seen it loads and loads of times, people when they're hoovering up, they're doing this, or, you know, moving the laser here, there and everywhere. What that will do is that will send the gems all over the place. They're just nice slow movements. Get it into the location. Left mouse button. Pick up your gems. All right, let's break the rest of these rocks. A little bit close, so we're just going to back up a little bit. I'll get a little bit more to be optimal. Fire our laser. Left alt again. Increase the laser intensity. Let it climb slowly, and then we back it down again. Just like so. So back in the uh, optimal, backing it down. All just using the mouse wheel, guys. Make sure you're holding left alt all at the same time. That blow up like so. We move to the next one. Wait for it to scan it. Go scans. Left mouse button. Left alt mouse wheel. Here we go again. Rock mine is, is it's a nice you get to see a lot of planets, different planets and that sort of stuff. It is quite a nice little relaxing game loop. I do do quite enjoy it. And if you're just starting, it's a nice way of obviously getting to know different ships. You hire the cutlass black and that sort of stuff. Again, you know, it, when you get good at it and you get used to it, you can up, earn up to 200k, 200,000 alpha UC an hour. Yes, it's obviously a little bit fortunate on obviously what rocks fall in your path. A nice collection of Hadonite always works very well. And when you do start, guys, don't just look for Hadonite. Hoover everything up. That's Aphorite, Hadonite, and Dolavine. Don't be picky. Just hoover it all up. It's maximise your profits. Break this one as well. Again, left all middle mouse. Keep it in there. Now I tend not to break any more than three rocks before I head back in and hoover up. I let that pop. So we're going to do right mouse button. Turn on our extraction mode. It will tell you just here extraction mode. Gonna move forward. Fire, fire our extraction laser in. We're going to move it across just into that zone, not wiggle it about. That should pick up most of those for us. Just like that. Now, what you will see is just here, this is our storage, so we can hold up to 80 CSCU of cargo. So we're up to five already. So, what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to continue breaking the rest of these rocks and I'll bring you back in once I've finished. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so we finished uh, that batch of rocks. So, gonna turn our rock off because that noise will drive you absolutely insane. Hold Y to get out. Now, one important thing you're gonna wanna do if you go to the back of your rock, I'm not quite sure. Got my arms bugged up in the air again, I think that's why we've done that. Is go to the back of your rock. You want to click where it says open. Now, what you've got here. You just go to a vehicle. This is what we've collected. So we've collected a hundred pieces of Hadonite, which is now stored in the rock. But what you want to do is every single time you've done a batch is bring it into your ship storage. Now there is a very, very, very important reason for that. If we have a 30 K and you've been out for a couple of hours rock mining and you haven't put anything in ship storage, what will happen is your rock will obviously disappear and all the stuff that's stored on your rock with it so you need to make sure guys that every time you finish a batch of rocks 
bring your rock in, open this compartment up at the back and put it into ship storage. Do not leave it in the rock. Your worst case scenario, you get a 30K. What will happen is the Cutlass Black will obviously go back to um, Hurlow 2 where we can obviously grab the ship again and sell our rocks. We would not have lost them because they're in the ship storage. Make sure you do that, guys. It will save you a lot of pain and a lot of heartache because you spend a lot of time mining those rocks just to lose them. It could tip you over the edge. Make sure you do it. So let's find another batch of rocks. Now I'm going to leave you with me while I try and find this next batch. Let's just get ourselves in the air. Use me sniffing. So we're going to head back to our what were we 35 wasn't it so in round just so we obviously know we're heading not retracing from where we've been before we're going to get ourselves going hold V send out a ping mm. is that coming in around sort of 4,500 that's probably a little bit much but let's do that nope I think that could be what we're after let's go and have a look Got a feeling actually it might be big rocks, guys. Pretty sure that's big rocks. Yeah, yeah. Thought that was a little bit close. However, I think that's going back on ourselves again. Yeah, that is. So make sure we keep our head in of 35. What you don't want to be doing is, is obviously is retracing your steps. So back to 35 as a heading. Keep going out, doing V. Hopefully, we get a nice little batch of rocks ping in for us. Same batch. It was. Game can play tricks with you. Thirty-five. Round about the sort of direction. Old V, send out a ping. Here we go. So that was nice and close to us. This should be again. This one here, and that one over there. I reckon are exactly what we're after. We get a bit closer. Don't go too quickly. Last thing we want to do is crash into the planet. Here we go. Yep. So that's exactly what we want. Nice little cluster. Now. We get close enough to it what we can do is we just turn v off what you can do is we get close enough now we can see that's yellow that would be this is going to be dollar vine guys so once you know what you're looking for um you can obviously still scan it if you're not sure what you're looking at hold left mouse button once you got that up oh it's had a night okay get proved wrong time and time again that looks yellow to me rather than the purple well, wow, that's brilliant. That's another nice little find. Once again, take our ship past the rocks. Bring it down. Let's get mining again. Another nice little rocks. I had a night, which is perfect. Exactly what we're after. They definitely look yellow to me. Got colour blind from me uh, from me germs. Hopefully we'll be able to get this rock out. I'm a bit concerned. Our armor's glitched through the roof, but we'll uh, we'll give it a try. Keep you guys with me, just in case there's a uh, another star citizen bug we need to get ourselves around. Fire up. Definitely issue with the firing up ship. Rock, should I say? Systems activating. Systems on. A little bit concerned. The arm like that. I'll tell you what, let's push M. There we go. Now it comes. Right. 
four. Make sure we're in the optimal, which we are. It's the extraction. Break these rocks, so all. Left all. Fiddle mouse wheel. <coughs> Roll ourselves up. You guys. These are slightly larger rocks, so they take a bit more time to charge. Again, we're in no rush. Break the first one with you guys with me. And then I'll break the rest, bring you back in. Once we're in the green, just going to back it down a little bit, make sure we stay in control. Once again, guys, if you are unfortunate enough to blow a rock up, it's going to happen and you will probably take your rock out. So what will happen is the rock will become unresponsive. Nothing will work on the rock. The mining laser won't work. You won't be able to start it. Loads and loads of bits and pieces just won't work on it. That's when you know you've blown the rock up properly. Uh, so you'd have to go back and obviously claim another one. We've all done it, guys. I wouldn't worry about it too much. So I'm going to continue breaking the rest of these rocks. Um, I'll bring you guys back in once we're all done. And then we go to that next batch. And we'll probably uh, see what we've earned after that, because that'll probably be, I don't know, around about half an hour for me being out here. And I'll bring you back in a sec. Okay, so that's the second batch of rocks done. Now, it seems to be, guys, whenever we turn the rock off, that's when the arm goes flying up into the ship. So, as for you know, we've now mined those rocks. We're going to come to the back of this. Now I'm going over in it again, but I'm just trying to make sure I drum it into you. We're going to go to vehicle. And we're going to drag over all of our mined gems into the vehicle storage, just in case we're unfortunate enough to have a 30k. But we know we're not going to lose all of our hard work. So there was another little batch of rocks which was nearby, which we're hopefully uh, going to be able to pick up. It has got dark. Turn our ship on. Just like so. Let's get ourselves up a little bit. Let's turn our lights on. Find out our ping. That one at 1600 should be again what we're looking for. So we don't go too fast. Get ourselves. I done it. Yeah. Yep, once again. Uh quarry just in front of us. They always show up just like this. So what we do is once again we'll land just past them. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, I always have it so I'm directly lined up with the rocks with the rear of the ship. Believe it or not, sometimes, especially when it's dark, finding your way back to gems and that sort of stuff can be a little bit tricky. But if you know you've lined your, the back of your ship directly in line with the rocks, you should be able to find them straight away, guys. So it can be quite a handy, handy little tip there. Um, unbelievably visually stunning. It really is. Anyway. We need to get back mining. Let's get back in here. Turn our ship off. Always just use I. Um, really, I should increase my shields to max just in case we do get attacked. You can get attacked by AI, obviously, and you can get attacked by players. Um, always recommend that you put all the power to shields. But I haven't done it. I'm sure, that's fairly level, which I think it is. Practicing what I preach. Let's 
Start, start. Systems yeah. activating. Systems on. Well, mining arms in. I think something else now. Yeah, the arm again is stuck up. So let's the arm out. obviously a bit of a bug on these at the minute as you can see the arm keeps sho shoving itself up in the air you do have a scanner on the rock guys which I didn't mention so again obviously you can locate using your scanner on the rock again it's all operated by pushing V but if you've lined yourself up perfectly you should be able to find your way to the rocks anyway so guys I'm going to mine these rocks um, I think you know what you're doing now then I'm going to fly back to uh, one of the HDMSs where we're obviously going to sell what we've got. Now, I reckon I'm going to be out for probably no more than 45 minutes, absolutely max, once I've finished uh, mining this last batch. Um, and we'll see what we've earned. So I'll bring you guys straight back in once we're at the point of selling. Okay, guys, so we're back at Norgard. Uh, I've landed the ship, as discussed before, and we are just outside the storage building. So you should be able to... I don't know if you can make it out. But that says storage on that building right behind us. You know, you need to be quite close, as we said before. When it comes to selling our gems, as we know, everything is in our ship storage and not left in the rock. We need to park fairly close to the storage for the actual terminal to be able to pick our ship up. So let's uh, get ourselves out. Our way in. Just above there says storage. Excuse me, guys. Right, make your way to the terminal. Click on that. Not too close. There we go. So now select location. We're going to go break cutlass black. As you can see here, we've got 450 units. They got a very low inventory, so we've had to sell all of those. So in probably, I don't know, I reckon we've been out a maximum of 40 minutes. Now, this is obviously me taking my time, obviously go for everything, explain everything to you guys. It is easily doable to earn around 200,000 Alpha UEC an hour. Once you get used to it, um, you get quicker at breaking the rocks and all that sort of stuff. So we've made 123,000. Um, obviously take away the ship rentals and that sort of stuff. Uh, it'll probably look around about 80,000 Alpha UEC that we've obviously made there. But rock mining can be a nice profitable um, game loop when you're first starting. So let's just sell that. You stiff it once again. There we go. Our ship is now empty. Hi right, guys, that is how you do rock mining. Um, if you do have any questions, obviously leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, one thing I didn't actually tell you about. If you are unfortunate enough to blow your rock up and you've got a load of gems stacked inside it, if you use your ship and blow up your rock, what you should find is you have a little box like this. This is actually what uh, just uh, reminded me to mention this. All out of the actual rock. Now, providing you've got a tractor beam, a multi-tool of a tractor beam attachment, you can then pick up that box, put that in your ship. So just again, another little tip there. If you do blow your rock up and it's full of gems, blow the rock up with your ship completely. Should drop a little box out the back of it, then put that in your actual ship itself and move the gems to storage once again. So guys, I really hope you found this useful. Please don't forget guys, if you think I deserve it, maybe think about subscribing to the channel. Uh, we have our Discord channel as well. Um, fun place to be. It's grown all the time. Got some very, very helpful people, new and old players alike. So again, guys, if you're looking for a home, come and find us there. Links in the description. Uh, but once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, anything you think I've missed, or you know, you know, of other planets or a hot spot at the minute for mining gems, do leave a comment. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care. Bye bye for now.